Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to learn about option script. So, here I have created in the scripts folder, I have created options menu script and uh, I already have added code to it. And I will just go to raise track selection and uh, now we'll just go to script. In this script, we will include the UI first of all and then we'll add public text mode public text lab count, public text opponent count and then we will add public pool tri time trial, public int current lab count and uh, initially we will add one for the current lab count and uh, the current opponent count which will be the one initially and then we will create certain functions for the button so we will just add a function for the mode text and we will say that if time trial equal to true more text will be raised time trial will be false and the mode back button we will just say time trial equal to false then we will just make it time trial and time trial will be true so now for the uh, other function for the lab count next we will say that if current lab count is less than 12 so we are uh, uh, we are supposing that uh, the labs are uh, up, the maximum labs are 12 okay and uh, then what we will do we will just, uh, just say current lab count plus plus lab count dot x we are getting the text from the current lab count plus labs for the count back we will do the same thing but uh, in this case we will say that if uh, the lab count is greater than 2 then we will make it uh, minus minus so it will be 1 and then we will just uh, add this uh, get the lab, co uh, lab count text and we will make it equal to current lab count plus labs else if statement we will add in the same function and we will say that if current lab count is equal to 2 then we will uh, minus the current lab count from minus minus and we will must just say that current lab count plus lab for the one lab so similarly for the opponent next we will use the sa same technique and for the opponents back we will use the same technique just like the lab counts okay so that's great this is our script we can go to our options panel we can select the main menu canvas we can add this uh, code this script to the main menu as well so let's add the uh, script to main menu or or you can add a track panel or any other panel as well if you want to do so uh, for me, I will just add it to main canvas and uh, here we will just say options menu script and now you can see that we have mode text, lab count and uh, opponent count. Yeah, but the problem is that uh, we will have the separate script for the options to panel as well so for now i will just uh, implement it on the option one uh, panel and uh, later on we will uh, uh, we will apply this for the other uh, panel as well so let's go to main menu canvas and i will just delete this options panel script from main menu let's add it to track one options panel and uh, here we can add the script so option menu script and uh, here we want more text lab count etc so we will just open the options and here we will add uh, time trial race track which is mode labs text and opponent text so that's great uh, similarly i will just save it out and uh, for the second track i will choose the same technique so let's select the second option panel and uh, we will just add the same manuscript here as well and for this track we can add this time trial 
lapse and opponent count so that's great so let's uh, hide this panel hide this panel as well let's play the game let's see what will happen so sorry for that because we didn't have applied the code for the buttons so i will just uh, enable the track options one and we will select one by one the buttons and then we will add the codes to these buttons so i will select uh, all buttons so you can see back up to like this and we want uh, functions on all these buttons so we will just press on click for all these buttons and we'll just drag drop the track one options panel now we will select the pack time trial button and uh, we'll just go here and we will select mode back and for this we'll just select the function and we will select mode next for back lap uh, we will just go to options panel and mode uh, lap count back and for forward we'll just go to functions and we'll say that more lap count to next we'll just go to opponents we'll just go here and opponent back and then we'll just go here and uh, opponent next save it and everything is fine with the track one options similarly for the track two we can actually enable it and uh, options you can select the buttons go to the on click function drag top the panel select first button select the function which will be the mode back and uh, the forward which will be the mode next back lap and uh, which will be the uh, actually la la lap count back and the forward lap which will be the lap count next and the, the back opponent which will be the opponent's back and uh, forward will be opponent next to uh, save it and uh, everything is ready now let's uh, test it out so we can enable the main menu play the game and uh, let's see what will happen so <coughs> Uh, let's go to track one and we can click here and you can see that we can select the race or time trial okay that's great then we can actually go to the labs for lab 5 6 7 up to 12 and uh, that's great and then we can actually select opponents up to seven and that's it we can add it like this but definitely we should add some space before that so for that purpose in the script we can actually add a little space before uh, laps here so like this like this i think this space will be implemented uh inside the code hopefully so uh, on the screen hopefully so let's test it out again so let's play it again and uh, this time i will select track 2 and the time trial race one lap two lap yeah that's good that's good okay that's it for this video next video will move further goodbye